Hey, uh, when is your husband's husband's band going to be on? I don't know. All right, because I got some pertinent pertinent information I need to get him before we go on the air. Well, you better tell him if it's good or bad news, because if he thinks it's bad news, he'll get all. Well, it's neither. It's just critical page operation stuff that needs to be taken care of before he's on the air. Two very boring minutes later. So, Recoil, this is six. Six, this is Recoil. Six, Recoil has some pertinent information to give you about critical stuff that needs to be done before the show. <laughs> oh, so that'll... So, here we go. I'm trying to I told stay you. straight for the show. I, I told you, Recoil. I told you you gotta tell if it's good or bad. <laughs> Please remember, the views and opinions expressed by this show or any other show on DV Radio and its guests are strictly those of said individuals and do not reflect those of the DV Radio staff nor the staff of dysfunctional veterans. Let's get it started in here. Get this party started on a Saturday night I'm on a highway to hell All night long Because I got friends in all places where Online and on the go on your mobile device. This is discretion is advised. This is Barrack Talk. It's DV Radio. Google broke the toilet. And I think I just broke my desk. <laughs> Tonight, Google is planning on taking over the world. <laughs> You can dip Brussels sprouts in chocolate to make them look like cake pops. $15 is a little steep for a bag of dicks. It should be like $14.99. Sure? I'm pretty easy to please. Not even one touch it as much as I want to. Are you sure? And we just <laughs> went there. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Because <laughs> this is how it is on TV radio. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, you listen to the podcast there, young man. You're tuned in to WDVR on DVRadio.net. Or by searching DV Radio on your TuneIn app on your favorite mobile device. Because this is how it is on DV Radio. That is how it is right here on Barracks Talk on DVRadio.net. WDVR, it is March 9th, 2019. I'm Boner Wood. We got Recoil, DV6, Google, and Oink. What's up, everyone? I'm first. Okay. He said, what's up? I said, I was first. There. I'm, I'm done. Go. Next. <laughs> oh, you clear what? Oh, okay. Hey, how's it going, fuckers? Ethan. <laughs> All righty. We've up? been doing this for three years and still don't know how to get the introductions done, right? <laughs> <Nope>. <laughs> Are we supposed to? <laughs> no, I, I guess we'll just wait for the hater pages to criticize this part of, of our program. Woohoo! That's yeah. like fun. So, all right, introductions are over. What's next on the agenda? You. Oh, your me. Segment. Jeez. Hey, everybody. we've been doing this how long, and you still don't know how to work. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm back in Gilsom, New Hampshire, and I'm not going to be on my full 20 because I got to get back. Uh, I'm kind of beat today, so I want to wrap it up for my segment. And then I got to drive. I got to commute to my house to get to my bedroom and go to bed. You're already in bed. <laughs> yeah, you have yeah. to do 40 tonight because the show's an extra hour long. <laughs> yeah. But I, hey, I have good, good. I have good news and good news and then more good news. So as you know, uh, I, I've been on the road. All right, somebody needs to shut their vibrator off. <laughs> oh, you know, I'm scanning receipts. Is that you? I'm scanning receipts. That's you? I didn't no wonder you haven't been in the mood since I got back. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, I'm scanning receipts. I'm trying to figure Is that what it's called now? What do you do with that cucumber? I'm scanning receipts. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm going to make a salad. 
Good thing I don't eat the salad. I can still hear her laughing upstairs. <laughs> um, anyhow, so uh, for every for those who don't know, I've been on the road for the last two three months. Uh, I did six weeks. Uh, I came back for a week and uh, just was gone for a week. I was out in Akron, Ohio, and Cleveland, Ohio. Special shout out to Jason Duncan, uh, a fellow veteran DV follower of the page, who arranged all the stops for me to deliver the winter survival bags on behalf of you guys and all the people who donated. A um, couple things. Um, I went to a civilian shelter. It's Lutheran Methodist Ministries. I hope I said that right. And they have a massive operation, but they have a special section just for veterans, uh, like a wing, and it has 40 beds. Those guys were awesome, um, and they were really appreciative, and they looked happy. You know, homeless... You know, everywhere I go, people home, you know, when I meet these homeless vets and stuff, you know, they're not fucking whining or, or bitching or, eh, you know, downtrodden or whatever. Yeah, the spirits are up and everything. You know, who else fucking happy they're not out in the cold? I, I, I like that. It reminds me of when I was on the street. I mean, I was happy most of the time because I was drunk and cocked off my socks. But uh, then we went to a couple VA places that have, uh, they're like, uh, Veteran, um, outpatient for homeless, homeless services and stuff, one stop shops. Uh, and I went into the second one and in, you know, look, you can walk into any VA hospital or clinic and you can get the, you can, you can read it, if you know what I mean. And the staff at this second one in Akron, uh, CRRC, uh, yeah, they were squared away. Really, uh, true professionals. Um, what was her name? I know her last name. One of the ladies I met, her last name was Moss. I forget what her first name is. I'm going to get emails now. You should remember their name. <laughs> but they, they were really, it was squared away and it was a pleasure to hang out, you know. I mean, you know, they, they, they like the bird too. So we got that done and, uh, I'm back and killed some. Um, the, all my men were here still. Nobody relapsed. They're doing great. There's a waiting list. Um, we've got, I've got to get pictures up of the lumber for the barn. It's, it's a whole bunch of deliveries came. We're going to start building that. I've got to thank all the people who have continued to make this program happen by doing all those birthday fundraisers. Keep it up. Um, I think last month, um, we we hit uh 17 grand in total donations that's awesome um and right. we that reminds me there was questions um somebody wanted to know like, when it, yeah. yeah so yeah, somebody was asking that, hey, how that yeah. works one of the one of the people starting a birthday fundraiser had let us know and that's fine share it to the page if i can i will i can't get everybody's up on the main page or it would just be filled with birthday fundraisers. But don't let that stop you. And don't be afraid to put a high dollar amount either if you think, you know. Um, but they were saying, hey, started the birthday fundraiser. Uh, we hit our goal. Let me know when you get it. Uh, I'd greatly appreciate it. Well, the way it works is the Facebook uses this thing called Network for Good. And they just cut a check from from their bank to the nonprofit. They don't take any money out, but it doesn't show who raised the money. Uh, so there's no way to know. So like a, you know, uh, like, you know, private snuffy raised $5,000 for DV farm. We don't get, you know, it itemized. It just comes in a check. When it can be from one person's fundraiser or 20 people's. Right. Yeah, and with no one idea. Yeah. With, are are you playing with a vibrator too, Jim? I have recall. Oh, uh, maybe. Oh. Ah. So th there's that. So um we we're going to now replace the um their wash washing machine. As you know, their dryer shit the bed a couple of months ago and we had to have an emergency fundraiser for that because we were tapped. Um so we're going to be getting them the washer now. We're replacing that before that breaks and it's going to match the dryer. Um, 
We got the guys are going to learn. You know, here they're they're doing they're really doing good. We got another new guy in, and he's really smart. And I'm actually learning stuff from him. He was a former mechanic, so we're getting generators fixed, and he's teaching the other men how to clean carburetors. Okay, I'm starting to get a little jealous. It's feedback from someone's mic. Uh, anyhow, so we got that. I'm going to be going back on the uh, winter survival bags. I will be hitting the road uh, again here shortly. I'll keep you posted. And here's some more good news. While I was on the road, uh, somebody shared to the page. They saw us on that website, The Chive. You guys know what The Chive is? It's what Yes, so, it's an awesome website. They help veterans well, and everything, too, over there. Well, somebody, we're always getting our picture taken. The, well, mainly the bird, because I ride, she rides on the door window with the window down when we're driving through towns and cities. And everybody's always filming and taking pictures. Well, she ended up on the Jive website. <laughs> so, yeah, we need a link to that. I posted it. You should follow the DV page. You know. um, I actually work during the day. Excuse me, man. <laughs> you know? So, anyhow, um, a lot's going on. Uh, as, as soon as I got back, look, if you've, I know from the last road trip, I still have a lot of phone calls to return. There's a shit ton of emails. I haven't even turned that portion of the office on since I got back. Friday, I got back Friday afternoon. Um, so if you haven't gotten a response yet, please give me till like Tuesday. I have a dental, I have dental on Tuesday, so maybe Wednesday. It's a real dentist appointment, you know. So, uh, well, I worked today. I went out with the men and we got some cut down, uh, trees down and started burning. So I got to remember I'm 53 years old and I'm not physically active anymore. I went off as Pogue. So I got to take it easy. I almost killed myself today. So anyhow, what else? Um, yeah. So, and don't forget the DV store. You can support everything going on there. Uh, through DV world when you purchase stuff through the website. And there's coming down the pike. Me and Bo got something going on that we'll be hopefully in the next month or two be able to tell you about. So, yeah, I think I said everything. Hopefully sooner, but yeah. Caught the weasel thingy that was eating our chickens. I wasn't here for that. You can tell them. Well, I mean, okay, the we, farm we, manager like caught it. In his hands, and then they cut his head off. Careful what you say, because we will have Peter. No, we're no, 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 no. Remember, I verify. Matter. I verified the information on this. We were allowed to kill it since it was killing our chickens. Oh, here comes AOC now. We're gonna get an award from her for cutting out the farts from the weasels. Anyhow, that's it. That's all I got. Now, stay tuned for the rest of the show where it, act, where it gets funny. Mm, yeah. This is supposed to get funny. It will, because we didn't do nothing during pre-show. And 06, thank you for taking me out for International Women's Day. That was our inter... <laughs> no, it wasn't. That, no, no, no. We haven't gone out to, in since in September... And we had our anniversary, Valentine's, both birthdays, and that was all wrapped up into one. We went out. And it just happens to be on International Women's Day. Had you told me that, we wouldn't have gone out to eat. Well, <laughs> see how she's nice to me? She's very nice. Oh, speaking of being nice, one more thing. Uh, I still have a few hundred of those winter survival kits. If you want me to come to your your city or town, send me an email. Uh, if you can be the point of contact, I'll be more than glad to, to come down there and deliver them. You make the arrangements for to hook up with shelters or with the homeless vets, and I will come to you. 
So that doesn't mean I can call you up and say, I know somewhere you can go, and but you have to contact them? It doesn't work like that? I have to contact the people that you should go and hand yeah. them out to? That That is correct. Okay. I like how you walked me through that. Ugh. I just wanted to make sure that the listeners that aren't above a third grade nobody's gonna call average understands nobody's nobody's gonna call yeah nobody calls uh, me either don't feel bad I mean if unless you're gonna go out at 2 a.m. to get a subway sandwich and stuff and yeah anyhow I can't wait for the political portion the news oh, oh when you're in bed oh wait you already are so you'll be going to sleep no here in about I'm getting five ready minutes. to go upstairs <laughs> I'm yeah, because you're touching audience. your mic, you're moving it around. Can you so hear fucking that? loud. It's fucking loud as hell on this end. <laughs> like uh, every somebody's at my office door, I gotta go. Hold on, Six, you heard me scanning receipts. That barely makes any freaking noise. I didn't That's hear you weird. said you were scanning. I what? thought you were playing with a vibrator. You wanna come out here and verify that what I'm saying is actually true? I wa- Do you I want me to come up? Verify that you're already in bed. <laughs> I still have to go upstairs to go see you. No, you're already upstairs. I have to go. I still have to go upstairs to see you. You're already upstairs. Oh, you're talking about the one step. <laughs> There's three. <laughs> so oh, what's like you saying? I've got to go downstairs. All right. Thanks, everybody. Are, are, are you gone? You must be. Banana. You're. Stuck. Ah. That's how you. That's how you know if he's gone or not. <laughs> I'm trying to leave, and I'm mute, and I'm starting to unhook shit. Come on. I'm gonna have nightmares. That was good. Well, you didn't leave. You said you were leaving, and then... <laughs> hey, Bill. Yes. No, it's not anymore. I'm guessing... I'm guessing that fixed my problem. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what's up. I, I can't even get my calendar to come up. It has to be Microsoft. So. I, well, he can't get back in. So, I'm going to remove him. Do you want to remove TV6? Participant cannot rejoin this meeting. Bye bye. <laughs> oh man. Well, since DV6 is gone, we can now talk about it. Now he's mad. Why is it mad? Now he's mad. He's telling. What? What? So now he's mad. He's yelling and throwing things. <laughs> <laughs> you should see. This is this is why we need an infield reporter so they could run in there with the microphone and be like, "So DB6, why are you upset at the moment? <laughs> <laughs> this is happening live. <laughs> DB6 oh, in the moment." <laughs> That's what we need to do. We need to do a live set, or no, we just need a recorded moment, a recorded segment called DB6 in the moment. That's what we need to do. That's the segment we need. DB6 in the moment. Video and audio. Yeah, yeah we turn it over. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to help clean quarter ounce paint jars? Excuse me, sorry, I didn't think it was going to be that loud. <laughs> right? I don't know where everybody is tonight. We have yeah, four whole people listening. They're always so quiet. <laughs> Six, if you count the two anonymous users not in chat. Uh, if you didn't already look at dbradio.net, literally dbradio.net, not the one that you bookmarked to go into chat, you will see that there is an affiliate sponsors and partners logo under the big donation thing. And then you get to go and see who our partners and affiliates and sponsors are. So go over there and check it out. Uh, we just added that. Um, let's see. Today's Saturday. I think I got it added Thursday, Friday, sometime this week. Anyway, so there is that. 
Uh, we do have some good news about Ubora Coffee, uh, Battlegrounds Coffee. So stay oh, tuned. Oh yeah, some for that. of it's coming my way. Yeah, some of it is coming your way. Uh, stay tuned that's for the, that. That's the good news. <laughs> right. Uh, also, about the uh, the uh, Sunday morning coffee show naming contest, we can't use any of the names that you guys come up with because only three of you have, and one of them was not acceptable at all. Snafu, not saying any names. Um, <laughs> let me read you what Snafu's was, if I can find it really quick. Uh, da -da. Let's see here. If it's not acceptable by DV standards, like you said some fucked up shit. Well, it's not that it's not acceptable by DV standards. It's just no. we can't use it. Oh, is it like trademark infringement or some shit? No, it just makes no sense for the show <laughs> at all. <laughs> I hope I didn't delete it when I was cleaning out the uh, emails the other day. I might have. It makes, it makes no sense for the show that makes no sense. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh shit! I might accidentally delete it because I didn't expect DB6 to not want to talk tonight. Because it's DB6. You might have deleted it. I might have deleted it. Yeah. I might have. Because my search results are bringing up nothing, nothing, not a goddamn thing. Sort of bitch. Dad, or it's fucking Microsoft messing with everything again. Are you kidding me? <laughs> loading, loading, loading. Show name to win copy. There it is. I didn't delete it. DB sp DB6 is special needs. That's what Snafu wanted us to name the Sunday morning <laughs> coffee show that has nothing to do with DB6. <laughs> well, he is kind of special. Yeah, but he's not going to be on the show unless he's a special guest. And he's going to be a very special guest at that. <laughs> Speaking of guests, excuse me. Um, our super secret guest that nobody knows about, and I read the messages cares about earlier because <laughs> I'm super cool secret guest nobody cares about. <laughs> Didn't show up. So, uh, maybe next week. Um,. <laughs> Yeah. So it turned out to be the super secret guest that cares about no one. Right. <laughs> right. You're all wondering why we're just acting like we have no clue what we're doing tonight. That's because we don't. Because we have no itinerary except for breaks and news. Literally. That's it. And we have no clue what we're doing any night. So <laughs> why should this be any different? Even the, <laughs> Even though we should sound more professional and intelligent. Uh, we can't even put a show together because we have to wait until the pre-show, which we don't talk about the show at all during the pre-show. So hey, <laughs> let's, let's save it for ready. the show. And I was ready, and then somebody was playing music, and then I was like, "Well, I am." Would it have made going. would it would it have made a difference? No. If I if I would have said, "Okay, so what do you guys want to do during the show to talk about topics, etc., cetera, etc.?" Cetera, minus news. I was said, I don't know. I have work to do. Exactly. <laughs> She's like, I got this here vibrator, and I got to scan these receipts. <laughs> <laughs> I can only imagine how red she is right now, even though it wasn't her. <laughs> yeah, it was my vibrator. <laughs> <laughs> right. Shit, I've got to fix the laundry. So I ended up having to pull my my microphone out of the USB three port and put it in a USB two port. Oh yeah, that's that's what we had figured out that one night, and I guess you just forgot because your head is fucking exploding. Well, no, I never took it out of that port. It's always been there. I thought you did. Nope. nope. Or no? Apparently, it is a problem now. Maybe I got the update now. Uh, I was getting ready to say, I bet you got the three point oh update. Yeah. Oh, good. Why don't you just fuck up my shit that works? Right. <sighs> Microsoft, Microsoft, Microsoft. <clears throat> For all the great stuff they have. Because I'll tell you what, like, Office is... If you have the full Office suite, it's extremely powerful and useful. And underrated, honestly. If you're rich. Like, Excel... Excel <laughs> if you learn how to... How to utilize Excel, it's fucking awesome. Yeah, it always has been. It's been really good. I've, I've always liked their Office suite. 
Yeah, yeah. Excel is very, very, very powerful um, with formulas and shit. And actually, a lot of software programs are just layered, written on top of Excel anyway. Yeah, and just the only thing that turns everybody off from it is the, is the price, man. I mean, the full version is what five, six hundred bucks. Yeah, fuck, I don't even know. And they're like, "What well, you can put it on yeah, three computers?" Well, yeah. Well, well, now, now they want you on. Uh, they want you to use their Office 360, which is a monthly fee. Oh no! Fuck that. Uh, well, welcome to the new world. No, fuck that. Labor Office, thank you for having open source free coding and allowing people like me, <laughs> who has no money, to use your services. That's Labor Office. <laughs> And then there's also OpenOffice.org, uh, which 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 can use any Microsoft Office format. LibreOffice can as well. Oh, okay, cool. So there's options out there. <laughs> I, I used OpenOffice there for a while, and it, it started freezing up on me and locking up all the time, and I just got so tired of that. I think that was back in its I, early I release. Did, well, and I did find it had its it did have its limitations. Yeah, and and, and with any open open software it's like that but open source software it, it does have limits but still <clears throat> yes google docs is good at times like itineraries that never get used um <laughs> what is that in the background that is my dryer taking a shit <laughs> it sounded like a dog fight <laughs> I, I, th I thought it was an alien coming to probe your ass <laughs> <laughs> It was like, oh. well, it's going to throw my ass when I go to buy a new one. I can tell you that. Well, ain't that the truth? Oh, my God. They ain't cheap anymore. That's for damn sure. I was about Especially to say when you have to have them like, imported from a foreign country like America. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> you know, I actually um, seen the other day where someone had got something from Germany. This is the same product. They got, they got one of them from Germany, and they got one of them from the United States. It costs more for them to ship it just uh, a couple of days in America than it did to get it from Germany. It was the exact same product. Oh, that's how much, awesome. How much sense does that make? That's like living uh, in Alaska, you know. This is the Asian Pacific hub for both, you know, UPS and FedEx, but for whatever damn reason, they got to charge extra money to get your shit up here. I was about to say, I've noticed that. That's where their big hubs are, but yet, we're going to charge you out to ass. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Right? It's not like they're not fucking coming here. <laughs> That's what Same thing said. with the post office, you know, they're going to come here. But, oh, I digress. Yeah, I just, I don't get it. Well, don't get it at all. But yeah, Devin, Devin, Devin six, Devin six, Devin six and I, <laughs> DV six and I are working on uh, something that um, we think you guys might be interested in. Uh, it'll help us out. Uh, it'll help uh, bring some extra stuff to you guys. Um, I don't want to give too much away right now, but just look forward to that. That's all I can say about that. Because it's super, super like top squirrel stuff. Right. <laughs> I'll tell you what. If you want me to help you to help me, I will keep secrets until the very last moment after you have voted for me. <laughs> that would be info at dvradio.net. So if you're wondering what I answered there, for those that's not in the chat room on dvradio.net slash chat, he asked, where do we send our suggestions for the Sunday morning coffee show? And I'll give you more details uh, later on in the show as to uh, the criteria for the naming of the show. Uh, just know that you can win a bag of coffee if your idea is picked and chosen. But you get nothing after that. It's ours. Af after you give us the name and you get your bag of coffee, that's it. it stops there. <laughs> All right, still shit. We exactly. didn't take your firstborn. Exactly. <laughs> just like... Just <laughs> Just like the name Battlegrounds. That guy doesn't own it. But we do appreciate I we should, that. I think we should make you host it and call it Morning Boner. Morning Boner. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I actually was sitting here talking to Joaquin when we were talking about naming the show. And I we came up with Morning Wood. 
And that was the first thing that we talked about. <laughs> that was actually one of my nicknames from my best friend when we went to Iraq. He always called me, hey, look, I got more than wood when we get in formation or something. That's great. Anyway, we need to take a break. On the other side of the break, we'll talk about bullshit that we have no clue that we're going to talk about because we don't have an itinerary. You're listening to Barracks Talk live or on podcast at Podbean, iTunes, Stitcher, or any number of other places you can get your podcast streamed from. Right here on DVRadio.net. DV Radio. <laughs> This week on the Service Dog Show with PTS Dog, I talk with New York Police Department Detective Roberto Oviedo about his initiative to train New York Police Department police officers in the proper ways to deal with ADA disputes and service dogs. She's a tool for me to use. She's not only my pet, but it's hard to tell these people when I go out. She's just an extension of me. She helped me tremendously. That's the Service Dog Show with PTS Dog, Sunday at 8 p.m. right here on DV Radio, WDVR. You are listening to WDVR only on DDDDDDRadio.net. You are listening to Barrett's Talk right here on WDVR, DVRadio.net. We're back. <coughs> Had to clear my throat. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh my god. Yes, in the break, you heard the Service Dog Show with PTS Dog airing tomorrow night, Sunday, um, at 2000. 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is with New York Police Department Detective Roberto Avedo. Yes. About a successful uh, initiative yes. to ensure that all NYPD officers receive training on the proper way to handle issues when service dogs and their handlers are involved. Again, that's the Service Dog Show with PTS Dog Joaquin Latai. Sunday night, that's tomorrow night at 2008 p.m. Eastern Standard standard time uh speaking of the time you know what this weekend is unfortunately yeah we lose an hour of sleep as if we don't get enough now that's right you spring forward jackasses (laughs) oh yep it would have been nice if spring would have actually showed the fuck up first (laughs) right (laughs) That would have been. You gonna really go shoot nice. yourself a little fucking Punxsutawney field bastard, aren't you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> have me some groundhogs too. <laughs> oh man, but yeah. Um, so that's tomorrow night. It's a really good sh- uh, episode. I think you guys will like it. Um, it's wonderful what uh, uh, Roberto has done for uh, the NYPD uh, up there in New York, New York peeps. New York peeps holding it down up there with the service dogs. Um, he's got some uh, some funny stuff in there. He, he's he's a vet just like us. I think he's a marine, if I'm not mistaken. Please don't hold that against me for forgetting that. I've had a lot of shit on my mind this week, so there is that. Um, we lost a couple people in chat, so fuck you guys. Um, <laughs> speaking of shows, what's that? I said, see you, tater heads. <laughs> right. <laughs> Speaking of shows that air, we were supposed to have Up in Arms premiering again this week, and I'm sorry, but it honestly just slipped my mind. But don't fret, it'll premiere next week. Um, back on its original time, and I wrote Tuesday instead of Thursday, 2008 p.m. Eastern Time. That's the Up in Arms podcast, if you guys don't remember them. Um, they've been on, they were on with this, uh, what was it, Super Bowl night or something like that? Because it was really loud. I think they had to, I think they had to run down the street and chase after a kid that was, like, lighting their house on fire with gasoline or some shit. Something like that. Anyway. Uh, That's how you know it's a party. (laughs) Right. Right. And then, as well as Media Lunar Sandwich with Toten, it's going to be Toten. Toten's Toten. Toten's Toten the show. Uh, it's returning Tuesdays at 1907 p.m. Eastern. That's not next week, though, but it is coming this month. We will give you more information as to when. 
Uh, it's premiering again right here on dvradio.net. A uh, little, a few things have changed with Media Litter Sandwich. Uh, not a, not a lot. Just a couple things here and there. But uh, I think you guys will all enjoy that as well. Um. So, who wants to win a bag, uh, a free bag of coffee? Ooh. Well, you already got yours, Recoil. (laughs) Recoil's already already won his. (laughs) But uh, if you want to win a free bag of coffee, we are planning, myself and Joaquin and the DBR Thoughts team, if you haven't checked out dbrthoughts.com, that's T-H-O-U-G-H-T-S, yeah, please head over there and check it out. It's just the DB mods, DBs, and uh, radio host. Telling you what's on their minds, because for some fucked up reason, you guys want to know what the fuck's on our mind about stupid shit in the world. Everything from veteran-related news all the way to just stupid humor that's fucking hilarious. And I have I have to give DV Spooky Cat fucking props uh, about her last article. If you guys have not seen this article, it is fucking hilarious. Um, for some odd reason... And I'm dropping the link in chat right now. You'll have to copy and paste because that's how it works. Um, for some reason, you guys don't understand sarcasm and satire. <laughs> the The title of the of the article is "Coming Soon: Military Dependent Uniforms." She wrote it so fucking well that I actually had to edit it and put. At the very bottom, for those having trouble distinguishing satire from reality, you deserve to think this is actually real. People were sharing it in outrage because they thought the shit was real. That dependents were actually getting uniforms. That's how good she wrote the fucking article. So, Spooky Cat, props to you. It lit up. It was on fire. It's still gaining traction. I'm just, I'm like, holy fucking Christ. Have you guys read it? I have not. Well, not everybody at once. <laughs> I, I don't see it. Well, it's in uh, Zoom chat there. Um, I, I see it now. I see it now. I've only spoke about it since it's, you know, debuted. <laughs> You think I got time to go to a more website? If if you would follow the DV radio page, as DV6 says about the DV page. <laughs> you think I got time to go to one more Facebook page? Yeah. I don't even, I don't even work. I mean, I do. <laughs> it's funny because that I'll talk. Out wrong. I'll talk to him at like three or four in the afternoon sometimes, uh, and it'll be the first time we talked all day. Or spoke all day, and he'll be like, "Did you see that video I did this morning?" I'm like, "No, you you don't look. At, you haven't looked at the page." And I'm like, "No, I've been fucking busy." <laughs> <laughs> That's your page. You do the TV page. I do the radio. There's That's there's a thing funny. here. There's a partnership, but we have our own avenues, you know. And he's like, "Well, you need to go look at it." And I'm like, "Okay, if I've got time, no, go do it now." So I have to while he's talking to me. On video chat, go watch his 20 minute video where he's sitting there going, All right, uh, so, uh, what was I going to talk about? Um, I got it wrote down somewhere here. Let me move all this shit and all these ashes off of my desk. Oh, Huey, shit on my list. I can't talk about it. <laughs> then I finally get to where he wants me to see, and I'm like, Oh, that's, that's good. I'm not in the mood for that right now because we actually had to talk about something. <laughs> Oh, me. But um, if you want to win a free bag of Battlegrounds coffee from you, Bora Coffee, we were talking about uh, myself and the DVR Thoughts team, as well as Joaquin, are getting ready to do a Sunday morning show. Uh, it'll be about an hour on Sunday mornings. Sometimes pre-recorded, sometimes live. It's just how the fuck we feel that Sunday. That's how it's going to plan out. But if you want to win that free bag of coffee, all you have to do is send us your show name idea. What's the criteria to name the show? Well, it has to be morning, coffee, battlegrounds, and DV radio related. Does it have to say DV radio, battlegrounds, coffee, morning, morning, coffee? No, it doesn't because we're not using that. But it has to be something that's engaging 
and meets the criteria that I just told you, as well as it can't be provocative or um, anything of that nature. Uh, if it says shit out dark humor, no, we're not doing that. Sorry, um, can't do that one. If it was like a bullshit show, yeah, maybe, but it's not. Um, it's it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be laid back. It's gonna be different. But yeah, that's that's what you got to do. Send your show name ideas to info at dbradio.net. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns related to that, please email us to that same email address. If you don't remember it, back up a few seconds and listen to it again, because I don't want to say it again right now. Um, Yay. <laughs> speaking of... What was that? What was that? Speaking of... Our battleground blend from you, boycoffin.com. Uh, head over there, because a lot of you have been wanting this for a long time, and we finally released it this week. Uh, it's the five pound bags of battleground DV radio blend for sixty three bucks. Oh my god, sixty three dollars? Yeah. Well, twelve ounces is ten dollars. You know, do the fucking math here. Um, but yeah, head over there, and on top of that, you get free shipping. That's right, on your first order, 20% off. You go over there right now. You you go over there to youboracoffee.com, do it. And leave a review if you've already had that coffee. And if you add a image, I believe you get a uh, percentage off or something like that. Am I right or wrong there, Oink? I know when you leave a review, you definitely get uh, a certain percentage off. I got a 15% discount when I left my first review, so head on over there. Check them out. Yeah, so if you're sketchy and you've not had that coffee yet, head over to youboracoffee.com. Get the 12-ounce or the 5-pound bag for 10 or $63. After you get it, leave a review and uh, enjoy it. I've heard... Not any negative reviews yet. Most people that I've spoke to and talked to love it. Uh, one of the reviews on here says, Better than Army Coffee, and it supports DVRadio.net. I love it. Another one, Great Coffee. I ordered five. I'll keep ordering once I run out. Thanks for the awesome service. Um, another one, Not Overpowering. Price is wonderful, and the shipping time is unheard of. This has to be the freshest coffee I've ever had delivered to my front door. No coffee beats this when you aren't able to go to the source to buy it from. If you want a dark roast with a subtle but powerful flavor, grab DB Radio's blend. It's helping veterans run a business, and you get your caffeine fix. And that's right there on their website. I did not make those up. You can go look at them on euboracoffee.com. Uh, yeah. But if you also buy a bag, a portion of that goes back to DB Radio to help us do what we do here at DB Radio, and hopefully... We can bring you guys more quality shows, better stuff to do on the website or uh, to make it flow better and load better, as well as hopefully merchandise, as Snafu keeps asking about fucking coffee mugs. One of these <laughs> fucking days, Snafu will get a fucking coffee mug for you. Just for Snafu. I want a fucking coffee mug. Did, no, fuck you. I just promised it to Snafu. I'll make one coffee mug. Snafu's... Uh, actually, <laughs> actually, you assholes have to fight over it. How's that? <laughs> Oh, we got a race. <laughs> oh my you god. You guys should rock, paper, scissors. You only get the uh, 12 ounce bag there, Snafu, for the coffee show name. Hey. Yep. For the morning show. Because I, yeah, we can't afford the $63 on the, stu- <laughs> on the donations that come in. <laughs> We're pushing it as it is. <laughs> yep. Holy so- shit. Yeah, I sent some of that Battlegrounds there to my son there in Illinois, and uh, his unofficial review is, uh, just tried my first cup. All I got to say is about as smooth as a baby's ass. This stuff is awesome. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Oh, my God. I'm not sure what to do with that information. <laughs> I'm not sure whether to be happy or just go, <laughs> I mean, I don't. I don't know many people that like it, you know, swallow a baby's ass, so. <laughs> I don't know how smoothly that will go down. Well, we're getting censored on YouTube now. Demonetization <laughs> incoming. 
We we're not monetized on YouTube, just so you guys know. We don't even meet the criteria. We're not even fucking close. Because you got to have like four or five thousand fucking subscribers, and you got to have like four or five thousand fucking consecutive hours of fucking view. It's like fucking retarded. It's ridiculous. So YouTube, if you're listening, shut the fuck up, Hold YouTube. <laughs> it's supposed I'll, to be for I'll creators. Be right, I'll I'll be right back. I need to let Storm into the bedroom. Okay. Recoil, how was your week? Oh, wonderful. It was so wonderful today. Never mind. DV6 must have heard him shake his head at the door, which causes tags to, to jingle. Jingle, jingle, jingle. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, so he opened the door. I was about to get up. <laughs> he opened the door for me. You get one help. of those talking callers that goes, Mano, Mano. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that would be great. Google how to make that my ringtone. <laughs> I thought you made that song your ringtone that we had on a few weeks ago. I know, I I forgot that I had it. And every time that I'm in my email I don't have time to like do that stuff. <laughs> she wanted it so bad, she wanted to email to her and she hasn't oh, even no. gotten it yet. <laughs> um, how was your week, Google? Speaking to you. How was my week? Can you? One, two, three. <laughs> yeah, we uh, heard you six. <laughs> <laughs> Close the door on his head. <laughs> <laughs> on whose head? His own? You know, sometimes, like, you go to close the door and you hit yourself in the face with it. <laughs> I wouldn't know what that's like, actually. Oh, yeah. It's like when you open a door and you you open it in your face. Can't say I've ever done that either. <laughs> <laughs> have you guys seen that video, speaking of doors, have you seen that video? I think it's in India. The guy is uh, acting like he's washing the, do the, the glass door, and this other guy starts to go and push it, and he trips as he's stepping up because there's no fucking door. <laughs> like, he trips and down there busts his face. It's the funniest thing. It's all over Facebook. So, Google, how was your week since we got so rudely interrupted by one, two, three? <laughs> mana, mana. Mm -hmm. It was good. Um, I, d I mean, you know, the guys were here. Six was not. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell no, they love was, one another. It, <laughs> no, it was just... Oh, man. It, I just... I don't know. It's It was fine. <laughs> it was just like any other week. She can't make up her mind. Started with a Sunday, end with a Saturday... I know, today's Saturday, so we went through Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then, it, then Saturday came again. What day, oh, what, Saturday. I was going to say, what day of the week does your week start for you guys, like, officially? What do you mean? Calendar like, starts on Sunday, dude. I know what the calendar says. Depends on what says. calendar you're looking I, at. I was going to say, I've the cal calendar that start on Monday. And I've seen some that start on Saturday. They're very rare. But some start on Saturday. So what day of the week does it, for you guys, not looking at a calendar, but for all of you, each of you, what day of the week does your uh, week start? Our pay like, hey, week at sense? the shop starts on Monday. Like, so. Get, in what sense are we talking here? Google, really? Like, Just ever since you could remember without looking at a calendar, what day of the fucking week does your goddamn week officially start? <laughs> But it depends on what we're talking about. If we're talking a work week, then it starts on Monday. If we're talking a fuck off week, then we're talking like Saturday and Sunday because those are the only two days that are left after you go through Monday and Friday. I mean, one day through Friday. And, but if we're talking like I have to go to the barn, then that's every day. So that's why I'm saying, like, in what sense are we talking here? So, so like, how was your week? Have a barn. <laughs> <laughs> my week was uh not you know not the best of weeks starting out i ended up going to the er had to, exciting. Uh, had to sign this pressure from hell i mean i i, I made him yeah so 
talk me into it. I'm sitting here laying and coughing up a lung anyway, so it's 3 o'clock in the morning. I figured, hell, I get in and get out. Sure as shit. Went there at 3 o'clock in the morning, was the only one in there, got seen, and was back home by 4.30 in the morning. So, sure. If I ever have to go to the ER again, I'm going to Alaska. <laughs> <laughs> With the flight time, it might actually equal out, right? It might be a lot faster. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I got some uh, steroids, some you know, a nice little inhaler to help with the bronchitis and stuff going on. So, yeah, I figured three weeks of this crap hanging around was, was enough. I thought bronchitis was a do- dinosaur. It, it might be, too. Okay. Wait, you're, you got bronchitis in the winter time? No, I know that doesn't happen, does it? I know, it never does, considering I got bronchitis in Iraq. Yep, uh, so we got all kinds of nice drugs we're, we're pushing still, so. <laughs> but other than that, you know, it's been a, been, been a great week. He pushes the drugs. <laughs> um, re- We already asked Recoil, Google. We've been through our weeks, okay. I got sidetracked there for a second because, you know, we don't have enough to do I usually don't because it's the same shit. I sit here all day and work. And <laughs> it's the same as mine. I go to the shop all day and work. <laughs> right? I mean, I go to the barn like every day. Recoil and I actually spoke this week on the phone. That was nice. Google, Google scans receipts. Yeah. No, that's only, you know, and that's that's the thing. Like, most of the time, I don't, I don't even get to get to my computer. It's like I miss emails, and then Saturday happens, and I'm like, oh, shit, I had to get work done. <laughs> then Saturday happens. I didn't know Saturday was going to happen, man. It just came out of nowhere. <laughs> right? Like, you guys, like, so, so this is my dilemma, right? So, I get up in the morning, but normally, like, I'm useless in the mornings. I'm a night person. So, even if I get up at, like, 6 o'clock in the morning, I get nothing accomplished. And then, at, like, noon, I'm like, oh, shit, I got to get some work done. And then, all of a sudden, it's 2, and I have to go to the barn. So, so like, there's my whole fucking day. Then I get back from the barn, and I'm like, well, now it's time for dinner. And then after dinner, I'm like, yeah. I don't feel like doing anything. <laughs> it's so horrible. This week, though, this week, actually, I did get stuff done during the day before, before Six got home. I'm trying to clean the house. You, you tried? What does working. that mean? What does try mean? Well, that nothing got accomplished? <laughs> no, no, I'm working on it. Because <laughs> every time DB6 goes, hey, you know what Google done today? She cleaned up. And he'll point to where you cleaned up. And I'm like, tomorrow it'll be worse. He's like, no, don't say it. No joke. Within 24 hours, it looks worse than it did before she cleaned every fucking time. <laughs> You don't want to see my desk right now. <laughs> oh my god! Well, the last time, the last time he went upstairs when he and I were talking, I couldn't even see the top of your desk. I could see nothing. Your laptop was actually setting on like a a thing, a stack of papers in like a notebook or something. I was like, "What the fuck?" I thought Six's shit was like disgusting. This is just like so unorganized. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, talk about this organization. <laughs> Hold on, I sent a photo of it the other day to Wayne. Yep. I'll find it, I'll send it to you. <laughs> oh my god. Yep, I think she needs an assistant. Yeah, I, I would say so. <laughs> but get this, Oink, get this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. But Oink, just so you know, the, remember the photo I sent you, right? Oh, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> it's even worse today. Oh my god! Oh, <laughs> right. Like, like it's worse. Like, like that photo was taken maybe a week ago, and you can see like bits and pieces on my desk. Yeah, no, not anymore. It looks like Staples. The store just threw up all over your fucking desk. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, I can't wait anymore. <laughs> All over Google's desk. <laughs> That's exactly what it looks like right now. But get this, like Google will be sitting at six's at six's desk, right? And she'll be like, 
God, it's so nasty over here. It's so unorganized. And then you look at hers, and it's like, um... No, but, you know, his desk gets disgusting with, like, ashes everywhere. I'm telling you, his de- before he cleaned his desk, his desk was freaking black from all oh, the I ashes. Know. Or, I know. I- like, at least, at least when I ash, it goes into my ashtray. You should have seen the inside of his laptop when he was down here. There was bird shit, there was cigarette ash, there was everything but the kitchen sink in that fucking laptop. And he was like, I don't know why it's running so slow. (laughs) Like, you know why, you know why that is, right? Because when he cleans his desk, he uses a can of air. I know. Yeah, well. And then he, that just sends all the shit everywhere else. I know. I had to use a can of air on the inside. I had to use a can of air on the inside, and it still didn't help too much. Right. I had to actually take a micro cloth and get in there and some Q-tips, and I was like, this is too much trouble, yeah. man. And it stunk so bad where it had just, you know, dust burns, if you guys didn't know, when it gets hot. <laughs> and it really? was, it smelled so bad. Like, the metal, you could smell where that dust had just been setting there, and I was like, oh, my God. But Yeah, yeah I don't understand, like, how... How he can operate like that. This could actually cause explosions there in Illinois. <laughs> well, you're talking green dust. Oh, different, man. different dust, but yes. Different kind of dust, yeah. Well, oh, I yeah. don't need his computer exploding. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell Six, do not invest in exploding dust. <laughs> <laughs> God. Oh, what does this uh, button do? Boom! That's all you need. <laughs> oh, snafu. Google's mess is not organized by any means or shape of the imagination. <laughs> it technically is. Yeah, I'm sure she could find something in, I don't know, ten minutes. <laughs> Unless no, it's on top. <laughs> I can, no, I can find things rather quickly, actually. Okay. <laughs> find that. It's when I organize shit that I can't find anything. <laughs> Six is going to be like... Do you have that check that came in six months ago and you're going to be like, uh... <laughs> that check that I deposited? Yep. It's at the bank. Holy shit. Oh, me, oh, my. No, the, the um... Real, go ahead. The real challenge, though, is... um, I hate filing. It's the absolute worst. So, I have, like, a filing tray... Where, you know, like you would put whatever you need to file into the tray. Is that the one with the big blue ribbon on it? No, no, but I had, no, that's (laughs) that's like my little filing tray. I have a big one. Oh, okay. I have one with like seven of those. Oh, that sits, do you have one that sits up or um, like that? Yeah. Gotcha. But But it's got like seven of those baskets and all of them are overflowing. Jesus and then Jesus. I don't take stuff off the printer because that's just too much effort because all I'm going to do is take it off the printer and put it in my filing system and then it never gets filed. So why take it off the printer to begin with? <laughs> you you guys remember the movie Office uh, Office Space when he gets moved down to the storage room and they pack <laughs> all that paper around him and it's like gobs and gobs of fucking files and shit. Oh, man. <laughs> I, I can't think of his name. He's the one that's like... I, I want my staple. My staple. He promised me I could have my staple back in. The, I haven't got my staple yet. I don't know where my staple is. I just. I need my staple back. I. I can't. I can't work without my staple. You know. I just need my staple because it's my personal staple. And I bought that staple with my own money, and then now he's got it, and I just don't know where it's at because it had my name on it, and it's my staple. Anyway. <laughs> I love that movie. My desk. <laughs> that movie's great. Oh man. No. People must not be interested in the show tonight because now it's down to Toad and then Snafu. Wee! Bye! Right? Well, I mean, we don't have an itinerary, so we didn't know what we were going to talk about. Well, I would have called TV6 at 5 o'clock today, like I normally do on a Saturday. But when I do, he's usually like, yeah, let me think about it. Call me back. Let me play this game, and we'll talk about it at 7 o'clock. And I do. And well, it's like, today he was burning. And then, oh, it was the, um, one of our residents has been here. It, uh, Friday was his one year. Mm-hmm. So we did Chinese today, but he forgot about it. 
six did, and so they called him on the radio at like six fifteen. They were like, "Oh, we're we still doing Chinese." He's like, "You gonna have reminded me like sooner? Yes, we'll still have Chinese." <laughs> so then he has to go to the store and pick it up. What's today's date? The ninth. I've only said it five hundred fucking times. What? I'm tr- I'm tr- I was trying to see the live listens right now. Because I, I seen a month, and I was like, "That's it's impossible that there's 200 and some listeners right now. It's physically impossible. There's actually 12 listeners in seven countries right now. Woohoo! What seven countries? It's got the flags, and I don't know every single flag of the 100 and some <laughs> fucking countries around the fucking world. Jesus. Oh, man, that's good. <laughs> it's got the flags. That's the only thing I hate about this is that I, I don't know every country and I sometimes I have to look it up and I'm like, uh, white, blue, and red alternating or black, yellow, black, brown or, you know, some bullshit. And I find out it's some fucking country I should remember. <laughs> right? Oh. I mean, you could, like, print something out with all the flags of the world on it and hang it above your couch. Yeah, so I have to look back and strain my back even more. Yeah, that's what I want to do, Google. No, you put it on the ceiling. <laughs> yeah, um, how about we not? <laughs> then you, like, go. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Because <laughs> no one might like it to just fall anyway. Yeah, probably. I, I will I will do some stuff like that when uh, my room is built. Speaking of which, um permits and inspection is about 10 days behind, which I'm not complaining about because it's not like we're six years behind. Uh, actually, <laughs> working on this one, fucker. Not yet. All right. Um, but uh, the contractor came out. He had to stake where uh, the layout of the room's going to be, and uh, the inspector's supposed to come out and be like, hey, yep, that's where it's going to be, and he leaves, and he gets paid $65 for that. So, yep. Jesus. I wish I had a job like that. <laughs> well, you can't walk, so... Doesn't mean I couldn't figure out a way to fucking do it. I got a power chair. <laughs> Shit. If I got paid $65 just to go look at fucking steaks and be like, yep, that's where it's going to be. Hell, you better believe I want to do that. I'll, I will get as many jobs as I fucking can. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Oh, man. I mean, I would do that, but then I would have to tell them I can only do it in between <laughs> these hours because I'm not awake. Right. I, I would probably do that for a good... You could probably... If you'd done like 10 or 12 a day and done it for a good six months, you'd have a pretty nice piggy bank. Well, there are some people that just don't want to work. See, that to yeah. me isn't even considered work. <laughs> no, but, but to other people, it's like, hey, I'm gonna get out of bed. <laughs> hey, yeah. Recoil, are you still yeah, with you us? It. Barely. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. I think he just plugged into his guitar amp. <laughs> that was That's really it. loud. Oh man. Did he go to sleep? Yeah, I was afraid that he was there for a second. Hey, Rico, if you need to go spedaddle, you can uh, do your little thing about the barracks and, and go hit the hay, because I know you're feeling bad tonight. Oh, uh, okay. Well, if you haven't already <laughs> headed over to our forum, you can head over to our forum at dvbarracks.com. That's our forum. Get you away from Facebook, the prying eyes of everybody that you were stupid enough to allow on your fa- Facebook friends list. So you can head over to dvbarracks.com, sign up for the forum. You can create an account using either your email or your Facebook login. Once you have an account created, you go to the top right-hand corner of the screen, click on your profile, change your profile picture to any picture you want to use, change your name to any call sign you want to use, and you are free to use the forum in anonymity. There is the typical DV fuckery that you would expect, but there's also my personal favorite section, which is a peer support section. That's brothers and sisters like you and me looking out for brothers and sisters like you and me. So for like the ninth time, that's dvbarracks.com. One last time, dvbarracks.com. Head on over to the dvbarracks.com right now for your DV forum where you can be anonymous. dvbarracks.com is the forum you want to be in today. <laughs> Yay! So, Rico, before Yay. you leave, any uh, last words for our listeners? 
Well, last words must mean I'm dying. So <laughs> be safe and keep looking out for each other, fuckers. All right, brother, go get some rest and try to feel better. Peace. Later. But, uh, yeah, so Easter is, uh, what is it, uh, next to the last Sunday of uh, e- April this year? April, April 21st? April 21st. Yep, yep. That, was, that was my grandpa's birthday. One of them. One of them. Uh-huh. So happy Easter birthday? Well, technically, no, because Easter is always changing. <laughs> No, I understand, but this year would have been a happy Easter birthday. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I would probably celebrate the birthday as opposed to Easter, but with Easter comes candy and eggs. Yeah, but with your birthday comes ice cream and presents. And cake. And cake. <laughs> Just an observation. Right. Yeah, he was uh, in the Marine Corps, uh, World War Two. Oh, so did he get crayons for Easter? And his I birthday? don't. I don't fucking know. Oh, that's a great idea! I can do a Easter basket for the farm manager and put crayons in it. <laughs> <laughs> God, holy <laughs> shit! I found another. Oh my God! For Christmas this year, um, so. When was it? A couple years ago, I had found a little box of crayons as a Christmas ornament, and I got that for 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 Christmas. And then this past Christmas, I found a bigger box of crayons <laughs> as an ornament, so I gave him that one. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh man! At least he laughs about it. Well, that's good. I'm glad he can laugh about yeah, it. Yeah, he's got a sense of humor, which is nice. Have you guys Especially seen the video um, of firemen putting uh, people back in fires? Oh, the reverse? Yeah, Play reverse. It. Yeah, reverse yeah. firemen. <laughs> that's, that's a little freaky, yeah. isn't it? I yeah, laughed I my fucking ass off at that. I was like, this is fucking great. <laughs> yeah, it's like Did little kids. and. No, because I was scrolling through Facebook, I ha ha at it, went to click, right-click, copy link, and guess what happened? Facebook decided to say, fuck you, Bo, and reset my newsfeed, so. Oh, that's bullshit. I didn't even get to share it, and now I don't know where it's at, so there's that. I'm sure that uh, Oink can find it for us. Let's see if we can find it. Why not? Yay! <laughs> I got nothing else better to do but sit here and listen to these dumbasses. I'll look for a <laughs> Facebook video. Um, I know, right? Oh, my. I, have, I gotta put my clothes in the dryer. Why do you have to put your clothes in the dryer? So they can dry? Hang on. No, I don't do that. Why? Because I don't hang my jeans to dry. That makes zero sense. No, it doesn't. In my world, it makes no sense to hang up my jeans to dry for the next seven days. It doesn't take seven days for jeans to dry. Well. We used to hang dry our clothes all the time when we first moved here. Do you have heat in your house that you use to help dry your clothes? We hung them outside, and sometimes we hung them inside in the winter, but normally we put them in the bedroom. Say, oh, good. I'll hang my jeans outside, they'll freeze. <laughs> they won't get dry, they'll just get hard. <laughs> she said the jeans will get hard. <laughs> she said jeans get hard. <laughs> she said jeans get hard. <laughs> oh, Go- Google made a funny. <laughs> nope, I know. I try my best. <laughs> oh god! Oh, yep, there it is. Oink found it. I gotta Woo-hoo! send. I'll I'll put it in uh radio chat or radio chat. I'll put it in uh actually it is technically radio chat on uh, dvradio.net. <laughs> Yay! Usually okay, when I'll we send it to the farm manager. <laughs> okay. Usually when we say sure radio that. chat, yeah. we mean host radio. But yeah, anyway. We mean the radio chat on their Facebook. Yeah, what she said. Oh, my God. Oh, me. Oh, my. Nox yep. is in here, finally. 
about damn time your ass showed up. And we still got one anonymous user. Anonymous user, make an account so we know who the fuck you are and you can talk to us. Stop being anonymous. I think they're afraid. They probably are. They're probably like, they're tracking me. No, we aren't. It's just, you know, that's how the government works. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the government works? <laughs> well! well yeah. <laughs> but they're not campaigning. And even then, that's debatable. Friend says Bo. What? What are you talking about, Snafu? <laughs> what? What's Snafu talking about? <laughs> I have to be nice to Snafu. He's not doing so good. <laughs> yeah, but he goes, friend says Bo. <laughs> LOL. And I read it, and it made me laugh. I don't know why. Well, Nogs, if I had the money to afford a PC that could do all the things that I needed to do, I would be using it instead. <laughs> you need a fancy one? Well, he's calling me a Kunsu pet. Peasant. <laughs> I used to actually PC game a shit ton back in the day. Back in the day, back in the day when uh, you had eight bit graphics and green, green digital little motherfuckers running around. And Oregon Trail was hot to the deck. <laughs> and you always died of the scarlet fever. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> oh, that's not a yay. I can't buy a new one, much less your old build, probably. I can't even afford a, an iPad and an Android tablet. So. <laughs> so someone tweets out, because I asked on Twitter uh, if anybody knows uh, where I can get some a cheap iPad and Android for work and all. And some dude goes, and thank you for this, uh, not harking on you at all. But he goes, go to Apple and look at the refurbished. And I know from personal experience that their refurbished equipment is pretty much as high as their new equipment, give or take 50 bucks. And I go over there and I actually looked. And yep, sure enough, one of their refurbished tab uh, iPads is about 230, 40 bucks. And a new one of the exact same thing is about 60 bucks higher. And I was like, yeah, I, I'd rather just pay the extra 60 bucks and get it new if I was going to do that yeah, right. or if I could afford it. <laughs> I was, and, and again, if you're listening to us to, tonight or on podcast, I'm not harking on you at all. It's just I, I, don't, I don't understand why someone would want to buy something refurbished basically the same amount, price amount that you would brand new. I know a lot of people that do that and I'm like, yeah, no, I, I, I don't see where the investment pans out at the end of the day but you know, that's just me well refurbished is like new yeah I've had a lot of refurbished shit 9 times out of 10 <laughs> it breaks just as fucking quick it's like going to GameStop we got a brand new game console it was refurbished once but it's brand new and then you buy it for 120 bucks and you get it home and it doesn't even open up the little CD port or what well, you know like yeah. Well, see, that's the shit that's just ridiculous. Yeah. But, yeah. The motocross uh, race is on tonight on NBC Sports Network Live. If anybody's interested. My family's nope. watching it. I used to love to watch motocross when I was little. That and dirt track racing back to its roots. Back in North My God, Carolina, with Oink's dryer over there banging its washer. That's what it, that's what it sounds like. It sounds like it's getting up behind the washer, going, "Huh, yeah, open up, make you make you wet, and hit the spin cycle for me." <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> oh my God! What? Where this fucking week has been long. Oh my god. So yeah. And the drugs aren't helping. What's that? I said and the drugs aren't helping. You figured they would, but they're not helping the week go by any faster. Who's who's got <laughs> drugs? Who's got drugs? <laughs> He's got the steroids. 
That's I didn't. Steroids. No, I didn't Good snap stuff. you. I did not say that. I did not say that. I did say wet, but I did not say I was. Uh oh. He did not hear me. Are you getting, are you getting has, into? Are you, are you getting into a debate with someone about something that you said that he's typing and you're talking? That was recorded. <laughs> that will be on podcast. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> that he'll get to go, I know he said it, and then when he hears it, he'll be like, oh, no, he didn't say it. Now I have to come up with a reason why as to me saying that <laughs> actually makes sense. <laughs> It's like uh, Conan O'Brien back when he was on um, what I can't remember which network he was on, but the the network where he was on for years, he would have a segment uh, called um, "Prove Conan Wrong" or something like that, and people would be like uh, giving in video uh, messages of how they proved Conan wrong and how he was wrong, and he'd be like, "You know what? That's a good point." But you're wrong, and he would. They would make up these little skits and make it look like they were right and shit. It was fucking hilarious. <laughs> oh my god, he's still on TBS now. Cause I'm talking about before he got to TBS, unless he'd done it there too. Because I don't remember him doing it on TBS. I'm not. I didn't watch it the entire TBS run that he was on longer than half a fucking hour. Thank you TBS for shutting the fucking. <laughs> God, the only night show that I liked watching from beginning to end, and they had to put it down to a half hour and cut the budget. I, we talked about this. We already talked about this. <laughs> but we need to go to break, come back. But Google's junk that's in the news because I know you guys are tired of listening to all of us, and 99% of you probably just skipped to this portion anyway. So we're going to go to break, come back, and you can hear junk. That's in the news. Let's get it on. We've got some full red made for you. The music. Go! You're listening to WDVR on DVRadio.net. Five veterans, four veterans. Simply made for you. There's a smell in the air today. No, it isn't those beans you had last night either. It's an explosion of napalm in the AM. And all natural soap only from KBarSoapCo.com. So start your day off as Lieutenant Colonel Kilgore does with the smell of napalm in the AM. Only from kbarsoapco.com. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. That's kbarsoapco.com. You big dummy. And now, it's time to find out what stupid junk is in the news. Sorry. I lost my unmute button on Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. All right, but I found it, so here we go. Uh, let's get started with, we all remember, um, I don't want to say, like, the first name, because then I'd be wrong if I say it one way, and then I'd be wrong if I said it the other way, so, um, but that, that person named Manning, um, that person has decided well, that person is being detained after a judge holds them in contempt, all because um, he doesn't agree with the secrecy of a grand jury, and therefore he will not testify in the WikiLeaks case. So how are you supposed to be justifiably and rightfully judged in front of a grand jury if they have no clue about any of the things that happen or yourself. Exactly. Exactly. So, yeah. It's it's all about secrecy. I don't like the secrecy of a grand jury, so I will not testify. I'm like, that's kind of retarded. That's like saying, so, I don't like going to the bank to have my check cashed, so I don't want to get paid. I'm not coming to work. Right. Well, he'll be in contempt. Of, he is in contempt of court, and he will stay in jail until he either testifies or the grand jury closes the case. Um, Jesus Christ. Whichever could, but you know. Um, and the the term of the grand jury 
cannot be longer than 18 months. Why? Why is that? But that, I don't know. That's what the jerk, I don't know. I don't know. That's, I'm confused about that too. It doesn't say why it cannot be longer than 18 months. That's yep. really odd. Yep. I know. I know. So, there you go. So Manning is behind bars yet again. It's time for refusing to testify. While we're talking about bars, um, DNC bars Fox News from hosting presidential primary debates. Yep. Yep. There you go. Um, the reasoning for the DNC to not allow Fox News from hosting any of its presidential primary debates is because it's not real ne- real news, supposedly, and um, Democrats would not get a fair shake. That's pretty much why they're... You mean they couldn't control the questions being asked? Exactly. Ah, gotcha. Exactly. And, and you know, some people are joking as far as, you know, well, if Fox News wouldn't be leaking the questions to one of the candidates. <laughs> I'm like, that's great. <laughs> well, it's like, it's like ABC, um, putting a hard copyright claim on Steven Crowder for their parody of the Oscars during right. the Oscars. And newsflash ABC, you're going to lose the court uh the the uh the court hearing because you can't sue someone for a parody of anything it's fair rights um yeah Yeah. so go fuck yourself abc but yeah as soon as i believe his youtube channel had gotten right around forty thousand viewers they got a hard (laughs) copyright claim and just so you guys understand what a hard copyright claim is that means someone has to literally go to your youtube channel and actually report that as copyright material. It's not in the system as a hard copyright. That's a soft copyright and it does not go against your account. But yeah, so someone from ABC was like, I'm going to copyright them because we're, they're getting more views than we are. <laughs> right. Um, so, what was I going to say? You're welcome. I know, right? Oh, so in response, Trump tweeted out that He's thinking that he shouldn't do any debates on any major news networks except for Fox News, um, <laughs> which I think mm-hmm. is pretty funny. And a former Obama aide, uh, she slammed the Democrats' decision um, to ban Fox from doing any of the debates, saying, I was disappointed. I don't understand the strategy behind thinking that we're going to expand our base into the Fox News audience when we really need to unite our own party. Now it's just this unnecessary controversy. So there you go. So they're getting some backlash, but probably not a lot. Um, Shit. What? Oh, no, they just, they opened the door to the laundry room and it decided to get really loud in there for a second. <sighs> well, good. you opened the door, so... <laughs> I didn't open the door, but they did. <sighs> gotcha. Um, suspended Broward Sheriff sues Florida Governor. So we all know who the guy from Broward County, Florida is. So the sheriff um, was suspended by the governor and accused of failing to prevent the Parkland sh- school shooting. Um, and so now he's suing, trying to get his job back, alleging that Governor Ron DeSantis improperly ousted him for political reasons. Um, and it, and they said the lawsuit states that DeSantis, DeSantis engineered a political power play that interferes with the right of the public to determine their elected officials. I'm sorry, but he's suspended. He's not fired. He's not been removed. Um, yeah. So he's suing. Um, and on that same note, Michael Cohen is suing the President Trump for unpaid legal bills. We won't go into that though. Um, everyone's getting sue happy again. Um, welcome to America. <laughs> I know, right? 
<laughs> are they all using Clinton's lawyer too? Just, just asking. <laughs> I figured I'd throw that out there. I, I, I would have said OJ. I would have said OJ Simpson's lawyer and Michael Jackson's lawyer, but he's sort of dead, so you can't or, use him anymore. Jesse, maybe Jesse Smollett's lawyer can take the case. <laughs> right? Okay. Sounds like he's full of knowledge. He well, you, you know, Jussie is gonna get a fucking slap on the wrist. He's not gonna serve sixty some years. He's not even gonna serve a year, probably. Well, he's being indicted on sixteen different felon, uh, felony counts. So yes, uh, so a lot of people have been indicted I on know. a lot of charges and never served a day in their life. <laughs> I know. I know. And since, hey, since you brought up Michael Jackson, did you know that Bill Maher compared Trump to Michael Jackson? That he's a pop legend? (laughs) No. (laughs) He wears one glove? Uh... Pop him right in the pussy. (laughs) I just, I had to. I had to (laughs) open that avenue wide open right there. <laughs> well, one of the, one of the comparisons is that Michael Jackson also could have killed someone, shot someone with a gun on Fifth Avenue, and his fan base wouldn't have left him. That's one of the comparisons. I'm that like, goes oh, for ninety nine percent of fucking entertainment and role models <laughs> in general. I know, right? Jesus, <laughs> like a job, good job. So anyway, why didn't, anyway, why didn't he just compare? Why didn't he just compare him to our fucking Kelly? Our Kelly was. <laughs> I'm not even going there. I'm not even. <laughs> oh, man. Um, <laughs> so anyway, we're getting off topic here. Let's go back to the news. Gare Helgemo, I don't think I said that right, but that's okay. Um, he, he is the world's top-ranked bridge player. He has been suspended for doping. Yep. Yep. He- is, that, is that the shooting suspended Broward Sheriff, or is it a different one? We no, just, you just read that one. Didn't you? I'm trying to help. find. The, I'm trying to find the link that you're on. <laughs> it, I'm on the Gare Helgemo World Stop Ranked Bridge Player Suspended for Doping link. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't have that one here. <laughs> in the itinerary, isn't there? Well, I don't see it because it's not in the URL. Oh my god! So, so I'm guessing it's one of these oh. down at the bottom. That I think is the yeah, exact same. I think I actually fucked up. No, I, I didn't. I didn't. Oh, I see I it. it. Gear held okay. Zimo. Right. <laughs> so, I don't know. I gotta look this up now. I, gotta I didn't look know up. that to play bridge, you, do, you could have dope. <laughs> you have to pass drug tests. I right? mean, <laughs> so it's so it's guy Helgamo. It's guy Helgamo. <laughs> Alright, so here you go. Uh, the Federation said on its website Friday that Gare, who is Norwegian but represents Monaco in bridge events, tested positive for synthetic testosterone and female fertility drug clomiphene at a World Bridge Series event in Orlando, Florida last, last September. After accepting he had breached anti-doping rules, he was suspended by the WBF, which is the World Bridge Federation, until November twentieth. That's he why also, he. That's why he had to pass a drug test, Google, because it's the World Federation, just like uh, any national and international sports team. He's playing bridge. It's not like he's playing football. It doesn't matter. Even the chess tournaments, you have to go through a drug test if you're in the World Chess Tournament. That's because- so. It's chess. You're sitting it in a do- seat. It doesn't matter if 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 you take a drug that I can pos- yeah. if that can possibly give you an advantage in any way, shape, or form. It's considered illegal. I don't know. So they can not take meds for like ADHD because that helps with their concentration. Well, if they have a note from their doctor and the <laughs> league allows it, I guess they can. But other than that, I very <laughs> seriously doubt it. <laughs> well, <clears throat> um, who said who made the statement? I don't know. Someone said it is his responsibility not to take substances that are on the doping list, even though in this instant they are not performance enhancing in bridge. Well, one of the things that I don't understand on the anti-doping list. What was that? 
Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, one of the things I don't understand about sports and any type of national league is when they update their doping uh, rules, anti-doping rules, they don't always push it out to the teams and or players or coaches and trainers. And a lot of times these people have been taking substances that have been perfectly fine for decades. And then all of a sudden it gets added to the list and all of a sudden you have a drug test and all of a sudden you are now barred or banned or whatever because you didn't know, legitimately didn't know. And I don't understand how someone can fuck up that bad as to not let everybody know, hey, look, this is not good anymore. If you've been using it, stop. Stuff like that. So, so then, okay, so because they won't put it out, so is it up to the player the team owner, the coach, who is who's responsible? Well, who's well, that's the thing. Is find out if well, if a certain drug is. Well, where I was up. getting at is a lot of times it's just like any other thing with an update. If you go to a website, it says cookies have been updated, and then you go back yeah. two months later and it says cookies have been updated. Well, some websites don't even tell you the cookie thing has been updated, and that's on the website provider, and. A lot of times these anti-doping policies wait until right before competition, like a day before, right. to let this know, to let it be known. And I think that they should let it be known at least two to six months in advance because, like I said, there's a lot of players and athletes and whatever that are taking substances that are considered legal right now. But tomorrow they might be illegal and they won't know until they go for a drug test and they're fucked. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, it's crazy. It's insane. But, In yeah, I didn't brain. realize that, that they follow some of the same rules as sports. Yeah, 90, 99% of your national, international leagues or teams or any type of competition follows some type of anti-doping policy. Well, it's bridge. Well, even... It's a card game. <laughs> Even bowling and pool has an anti-doping policy. Snooker. Yeah, but, Snooker has one. Yeah, but those I could understand a little bit more than a card game. Yeah, anyway, but you're not um, actually doing that much physical more that much more physical work. It's mainly a mental game. <laughs> true. True. I suck at bowling, so I can't really. I miss bowling and pool. I like candle pin bowling, but it's like going away. I use the bumpers. <laughs> <laughs> I got a six year old. I can use that excuse, right? <laughs> I do the under under God. underhanded granny bowl with the bumper Don't, stuff. My wife does that. Don't even go there. She does uh. it. A whole whopping four foot nine of her. She goes right up to the line and just rolls right between her legs. Oh, <laughs> See, you guys need candle pin bowling. <clears throat> Wait, I what? like candle pin bowling. It's it so it's the, it's the same exact thing as bowling, but you have little tiny little pins. The pins are like half the size, and the balls are like really small. So like for me to go bowling, I can only bowl maybe like six frames without until my shoulder starts freaking killing me because the balls are so heavy. The candle pin bowling, oh, I could do I, that. All I know what. I know what that is now. I used to think it was something just for kids when I was younger. Uh, I see what no. that is now. <laughs> no, I really did because I didn't know what the fuck it was. I didn't even know it was called candle pin bowling until just now. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it, it's big up here. Cool. But anyway, um, moving right along, American Airlines takes jets out of service and cancels flights due to overhead bin problem. Well, there was also a flight that uh, got delayed, or no, it landed, uh, had an emergency stop because there was a smell in the cockpit this week. <laughs> God. Oh, is that the fire one that wasn't really a fire? Yes, they thought it was a fire because of the smell, and it was a putrid, burning smell. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's how they and, described and it. Here's, here's what I'm what I'm confused about. In the report, it says that out of the 187 passengers, only two walked away with minor injuries. And I'm like, <laughs> if they made an emergency landing at an airport, how do you <laughs> minor injuries? <laughs> when nothing even happened uh, on top of that. Right. <laughs> right. I'm like, what were these injuries that they're reporting? <laughs> like, 
like, they, like they straight- 185 people were perfectly fine, and two had minor injuries. They just <laughs> picking his nose, and they hit an air pocket. And I don't know. <laughs> they, they, they probably strained a lung from gasping when the pilot said we oh, have to make man. an emergency land, and they went. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Um, so anyway, American Airlines has taken more than a dozen of its Boeing 737 jets out of service after some newly installed overhead bins wouldn't close, leading the airline to cancel about 40 flights. Um, American- Have you ever heard of duct tape? What the hell? I know. <laughs> They're in the process of re- remodeling the interiors of its Boeing 737-800 planes to add more seats as well as bigger overhead bins and electrical outlets at each seat, a plan known as Project Oasis. The airline is one of several carriers adding more seats to planes in order to increase revenue for each flight. That also means you have less less seat less space, space per person. So... Don't fly. If you can avoid it, just don't fly. When they were just bitching about making seats bigger to give passengers more room. Exactly. Exactly. God. Um, Gotta love Bowen. I know, mm-hmm. right? American said in a statement, the work on two aircrafts was not up to our standards. The airline also said it took 12 more of these jets out of service out of an abundance of caution to evaluate the recently completed work. Um, but yeah, so the overhead bins, I guess, were not closing properly. Have you guys noticed Did a they- growing trend with Boeing as to the fact that they rush product and it's always below subpar? It doesn't even meet standards? Yeah. Yep. Wow. I know. It's crazy. Well, not too long ago, they were blaming the mechanics and the, saying that um, mechanics had to work overtime every single day, even if they weren't allowed to anymore, because just to get all the work completed. Like, well, that's their fucking fault for not having enough, enough, uh, what you call it, mechanics. Laborers. Yeah, there you go. Hey, on. So, that. Well, that and they were rushing the mechanics too, you know, telling yep. them that the uh, you know they need to hurry up the inspection process and everything else so they right. can get around that jet around. And, and you know, I don't exactly. know about you, but I'd much rather that mechanic take his time and make sure that jet was airworthy versus yeah. Because it. isn't it supposed to take like up to three and a half, four hours to PMCS in the airplane, just a normal average size plane? Like, isn't it supposed to take up to like four or five hours? It's a lot of the aircraft that we have come through here, they do quick turn. In about two and a half to three hours at the quickest. Right. So average four hours. I would give it that, yeah. Right. By the time you get refueled and everything else, yeah. Right. So, yeah, I would definitely want you to take twice as long. <laughs> you know, you know, this is my ass is getting on that plane. Oh, man. I know, right? It's like I paid $125 to die. I don't think so, ISIS. <laughs> oh, my God. Too soon? Well, you know. <laughs> Some people are going to hate me for that joke. Well, you can go fuck yourself. <laughs> God. That's what we so, do here at DB Radio. Dark sense of humor. That's right. Um, so the aircraft maintenance check is performed approximately every 400 to 600 flight hours or 200 to 300 cycles. That's takeoff and landing. Um, well, it depending shouldn't on take long. Type, it needs about 50 to 70 man hours and is usually on the ground in a hangar for a max- minimum of 10 hours. So it shouldn't take long for a plane to get four to 600 flying hours in reality. No. Right. Exactly. So, so it be... But, but then at the same, but at the same time, every time that they're on the ground, you d- the, there are obviously mechanics and shit that look over the plane just to make sure just in case and that would take you know that's not going to take them 50 hours right but as a wink said there's those quick quick turnarounds also all right moving along we have two stories left they're both stories about dogs um not Joaquin Watai one is a feel good and the other one is kind of worrisome. Um, so we'll do the worrisome first. And it's out of Massachusetts. What a surprise. Pot dogs are a growing concern for pet owners. 
yes, pot you heard dogs. That. Pot dogs. Oh, um, pot there's dogs. A, there's a new there's a new drug crisis on Cape Cod and the islands, and its victims are puppies and doggies. Um, so what is happening? All right, as marijuana dispensaries open throughout Massachusetts following legislation. Following legalization of recreational and, medic- and medicinal <laughs> pot in the state, veterinarians are responding to an increased caseload of emergency involving dogs sickened by cannabis toxicity. A lot of these actually um, come in because their owners are taking them out for a walk and there's like trash in the road or whatever, and they ingest it that way. Um, on average, the one veterinary hospital which is Eastham um has been treating about five dogs a week that are that have suffered from marijuana poisoning um yeah I'm like this it's sad it's sad like they have to go into the ICU and detox and it's a lot of money it's not cheap vets aren't cheap to begin with let alone I know, right? And so, and like I said, most of it is from the dogs eating stuff, um, off the ground. Um, you know, instead of, it's not so much the owners. Um, so there are, there are different types of pot, obviously. Um, the one dog in the article that's mentioned ate like half a blunt. I mean, who the hell? (laughs) throws out half a blunt like you know come on <laughs> he must have been really fucked up that guy whoever <laughs> and this happened right after like there was a um like a party or something at at the beach where this lady walks her dog um and then there's also something that that's used in pot brownies called pot butter um that has been found thrown outside on like grass and stuff um there are like, certain parts of marijuana that are safe for animals but to straight up give your animal a fucking bud or blunt or any other thing that would seem to be wrong is a fucking retarded ass move and you should be ripped to shreds well and that's the thing like this dog that ate half a blunt he found it on the street his owner was taking him for a walk, and the dog just sniffed and ate it. And Maybe and, it fell out of somebody's pocket or something. I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of a... I'd definitely keep that in my dick pocket, just saying. <laughs> like, like, how do you lose half of one? Exactly. But, like I said, then, then there's the pot butter um, that people are throwing out, and it ends up on people's grass, and their dogs go out and lick it up and stuff um so yeah don't uh don't feed your dog lots of drugs that is not good not good at all oh my god but pot butter looks like baby shit <laughs> <laughs> well you use it to make pot brownies oh my god this right, looks disgusting your- here is your feel good story. Um, this is actually a little bit more than a week old, but it's still a very, very cool story. Um, man and dog survive for five days in an Oregon snowstorm. So they were stuck in their vehicle for five days and they survived by eating the Taco Bell fire sauce. They had apparently this guy had a lot of packets. I hope you tell the really good part of that story of the Taco Bell sauce. Well, it depends on which part of the really good story you are referring to. Just keep going. I'll tell you if you don't. <laughs> well, I was going through the article and I didn't see anything other than the they survived on. Taco Bell sauce. Is that is that the end of what you got then? Yes. Well, just so you know, Taco Bell gave the man a free year of food for surviving on nothing but hot sauce from there. 
Not even joking. They gave him food free for an entire year from Taco Bell. Which is awesome. Hell yeah! That's the best part of the fucking story. But I don't, see, see, I don't eat their hot sauce. I don't so either. So I would never be able to survive on their hot sauce for five days because I wouldn't have any in my car. I'd be fucked. I would have, like, a jar of cashews. And right now, actually, my jar of cashews is almost empty. So if I got stuck in the snow, like, tomorrow, I'd be fucked. I have no snacks. I want to know why the fuck you would keep packs of hot sauce on you when you go hiking and not actual food. My, I'm thinking, I'm honestly, you know? well, I'm right. honestly more thinking that he just had some in his car. But still. <laughs> I mean, he was a snowbiller, so he was on a snow uh, snowmobile, and or well, he had he was going snowmobiling, and he got stranded. That that's the the. And then he was stuck there for five days and survived on Taco Bell hot sauce. <laughs> and Taco Bell is like, hey, dude, we'll give you a free year of food plus all the yeah. hot sauce packets that come along with it. And and it's crazy because it was him and his dog. Well, you know what? The Oregon Trail panned out for somebody at least. <laughs> and if you don't get the reference, then you're not old enough to be listening to us. <laughs> so, so there you go. So there you go. That that was your feel good story for the evening, and that is all the news I have. And I'm a minute behind. Damn it. <laughs> well, I did tell you to drag it out an extra minute because I had to pee, and I thought it would take longer. Oh, that's right. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that's the end of Barrett's talk. Um. As always, go check out our social media, like, follow, share, all that good jazz shit. If you ain't figured it out by now, listen to the last podcast or the podcast before that, or one of the five million fucking podcasts that we've got before this one. Um, um, get your uh, names for the coffee morning show in, and myself and Joaquin will choose from the best, and you'll get a free 12-ounce bag of coffee battlegrounds and if you want a five pound bag of coffee head over to youborcoffee.com and grab your five pound bag uh go to dbfarm.org smile.amazon.com make db farm your charity of your choice no extra fees or hidden costs and a portion of your shopping cart goes directly to the db farm um i think that's all off the top of my head oink any last words nope i think we got it all covered tonight thanks for tuning in for those that stuck around snafu nogs you guys are great google um, have a good week, and we'll see you on Saturday. If you have an idea for Barracks Talk or any other show or anything like that, let us know. Email us at mpu.dbradio.com. <laughs> and if you didn't understand it, info at dbradio.com. Uh, we love discussing what you guys like to talk about, and uh, DB6 doesn't tell me what to talk about anymore. So, um, for all of us here at DB Radio, including DB6 Recoil, Oink and Google, I'm Boner Wood. You just heard Barrett's talk. Until next week, butt sickles. Bye-bye. Hit us up on Facebook and Twitter. Bye-bye. <laughs> 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 Goodbye, motherfucker. <laughs> 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 T